Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this video. In this video, we're going to do a short demonstration of the iCarsoft EU Pro Kit, uh, which is available just by clicking the link directly in the description below this video. Um, there are fakes, there are clones out there on the market. They can damage your vehicle, so it's really not worth going down that route. Uh, so if you use the links below, it will take you to the genuine and official uh, product. Now. We're in a Volvo C30 here and we've got a few warning lights on the dashboard here. So we're going to use this tool to show you basically how the tool would cope with resetting these warning lights and diagnosing these faults, okay? So we've got the tool plugged into the diagnostic port, which in this vehicle is just down there. And uh, we're going to click onto diagnostics. This is going to give us a list of the manufacturer coverage. So um, we need to scroll right down to the bottom in any case, so I may as well show you all of the manufacturers that it will cover so anything European basically there we go so we're gonna to go to Volvo which is this one here um, and we're gonna select our vehicle which is actually a Volvo C30 from 2008 and then it's asking us to select the engine type if you don't know this don't worry too much. Um, I think it is this one. It's this one. I think. I could be wrong. It'll soon give me an error message if I am wrong. There we go. So first of all, you saw there what we've, what I've done is I've gone straight into the uh, the list of systems that you can diagnose, um, and I, it, it's given me three faults straight away. It didn't even get a chance to read them actually. If I go back to the read them, uh, it's given me the first fault as zero one one three. Now I have previously diagnosed this fault, and I do know there is a fault with the mass airflow sensor, the MAF, uh, which simply just needs to be replaced. But we haven't had a chance to do it yet, so we're still getting the warning lights uh, on on here. Uh, if you look actually, if we just go to the message sender, there, engine system service required at the top there. Um, but we're not going to be able to reset that at the moment because we need to physically fix the port and that is part of the ethics of diagnostics you can't you can't just reset something just because you've got the tool you will need to physically fix something in most cases all right um, so we need to fix a math or replace the math and then we can get rid of these fault codes then we can get rid of that message there however this video is not lost because we do have other systems and other warnings where we have fixed the faults okay so for, say for example the ABS system here <coughs> Excuse me, the ABS system, we have put a, a new ABS sensor in, but we've still got the warning lights and we've still got the, the fault code as I'm going to show you. Wheel sensor right front faulty signal. So we've put a new ABS sensor in which needs to be reset now. So if we clear fault memory, let's click OK to that. And then that light is flashing, the ABS light is flashing. There will be another light which comes on here, remains steady, then they'll both go off together. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go, so those lights have gone off and that is because we have been able to fix that particular fault in this Volvo and then it's the same for the airbag system. They've come back on but they, they will go off, trust me. Um, if we go to the airbag system, it's the same kind of process. We found a loose connection underneath the driver's seat. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, so this is the fault code we were getting, 005B. And then front right hand impact protection system, uh, driver's belt buckle, current outside the permitted range. So these are the fault codes that you would generally get with a, a loose connection or a faulty connection onto the driver's seat. Uh, but we fixed that, we can now go to clear fault memory and we should be able to get rid of the airbag warning light. Okay, so it's telling us a raise operation done there. It sometimes takes a few seconds for the warning light to turn off. So we'll just keep an eye on that for a few seconds. It really depends on the vehicle. Sometimes it can do it straight away, sometimes 10 to 15. So we'll see it's gone off there. And we've now got a pass next to that system there. But it does a lot of other systems, obviously depending on which vehicle you're in, will give you, you know, modern vehicles will probably give you more systems than older vehicles like this one. So don't, 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 don't be thinking that this is a definitive list. It all depends on your specific vehicle that you've got it hooked up to, okay? Uh, but that's just, in essence, a real, so a basic snapshot of what the EU Pro tool can do and how easy it is to use. Um, I'll also show you the um, 
the service menu as well so it does like service functions as well which are really good and really useful like DPF regeneration, steering angle sensor, new battery registration, oil service reset and a lot more as well okay uh, but if you were interested in this tool I will put it uh, put the link in the description below this video uh, there are fakes, there are clones as I say they can damage your vehicle and it's just not worth going down that route so by using the links below it will take you to the genuine and official product thanks for watching guys and I hope this helps